hi guys today we will see the configurable reports in Moodle how you can install and how you can use this one so let's begin with the installing part first so currently I am here under my admin login area so I will go here under plugins install plugin so before that I will have to download the latest latest setup for this configurable report and the latest one I can see that is model 4.2 support okay and my instance is 4.3 but I, I can see here the May 6 is the release date so it should be working here with the model 4.3 also so let's see okay I have click on the download although I have already downloaded one now yes it is downloaded just a new one so I am going to install this plugin here okay so click on install plugin uh, it is validated successfully that is required why because this one is the model 4.2 as they are mentioning here but it is also supported in model 4.3 yeah, you can see my instance is this and yes it is working here now upgrade Moodle database now continue and your installation process is done now so once it is installed you will see this configurable page configurable report settings page okay so DB host let it be whatever you have currently installed instance all the config configuration should take from there so you don't have to put anything let it be empty it will be already taking from there okay so here report builder table UI either you can see just a simple table jQuery or data table JS so it is just by default so let it be because data table looks good and it will come up with searching sorting option pagination options report row limits in case you want to sim uh, limit the number of row of output of that any particular report then you will have to put here so this one is the default one just let it be now sql report users allowed user list this one is the if you wish to only allow certain admin users to manage SQL report add the list of username separated by comma here okay so in case you want to access the only admin you will have to put here their username separated by commas okay suppose you have admin 2 then admin 3 you will have to put like this okay so I don't want to put anything here just click on save <clears throat> yes so if you come here you will see this one is a block so block means whenever you come to know this you will have to come under dashboard it's a general block not a course block so you will find this basically on your dashboard and I am going to click here on the edit mode here I am going to click add a block and now you can see this configurable report click on it and it will be added by default at the bottom of the page from now I can disable this edit mode okay so this one is a configurable report for creating any new currently you don't see list any list here so I'll have to create so I will click on this manage reports now once I click on that I don't see no reports available import report from repository okay add a new report add report so if you are going to add a new report we'll have to put here name summary and SQL report okay but I am not going to use this one for now I am going to use this import report from a repository okay so I am going to select list of all the cohorts okay so
so this is so i just check that and now you can see my report is ready here i will have the ability to i can edit the name okay so cohort created by this this so i just rename that okay pagination this is a global report accessible from any course in case you want to make it available in a course we'll have to check this one so let it be uncheck this one for now we'll check this later <coughs> do you want to run this query on the remote db so this is something you will have to uh, add the db details and the on the page that was appearing during installation but no i don't want for now i just want to execute the query on this database currently being used for this lms okay so export option i want csv not json just click on add okay so if i go back here this one is basically the report it is giving me the query if you go here on view you can see the list <coughs> Uh, this one is data table one uh, in front of you you can see this data table this is my report name i can search and sort the list so it's a normal feature that, that is coming with the data table next previous you can do in case you have multiple now coming to this you can see here this report is a view part in case you want to modify this one is basically the sql query of that report in case you want to add some more details here suppose i don't see here the email id i can simply come here and i can add user email id u dot email this then it will add here email id if i come back to view you can see this as a as an email id here again in case you need any modification here it is not about the name so the criteria i choose just is just created by default for me but in case you want to delete everything you want to create a fresh one you can also do that okay so if you come to view you can see the list uh, here the first name last name email id number and name uh, first name is coming here on top you can see let me try uh, updating that particular heading if i just type the first underscore name let's see what appears save changes go back on the view you can see here the first name is coming so the case sensitive thing is not taking but yes a string is coming whatever i have just updated that one okay so let's put here same as email id and save this one and now you can see email has been changed to email id so this is how you can modify your uh, heading of this field according to your need you will have to update here inside query now coming to filter yes so this report will have the ability you can add your filter here okay so you just go you just know how to view report how to customize your query uh, this is just a simple query there are also you can pass here the parameterized one we will see in the uh, coming video under filter you can add here the filter suppose you want to put the filter based on the user field so if you check that it will be asking for the field name let's see the first name Okay, so now it is done here if you go back to this view page you can see here the filter that is of first name okay so this is filter but for now it will not be working because i have not added this inside my query same way we can uh, see the template here in case you want to put anything under header you will have to enable first then you can type the header here 
and the record templates and the footer we'll check uh, everything in detail in a single single video but this one is just introduction video and how you will have to install this and how you can use this same way we have the permissions uh, you can allow this uh, particular report to based on this any user in the current report course they can access anyone can access the user with the report capability can access yeah so this should be the ideal one whichever have the report capability they can access this report okay not just ideal one it is all about your uh, business need you can choose from here same you will have the calculation in case you are, you are getting some list of field based on that you want some calculation around average minimum maximum you can do that uh, graph in case you want a report uh, just the name of report in case you want to modify the name you can make that and currently you can see the export in csv format export in json format export in ods xls you can uh, check or uncheck based on your need you come on this this report and i just enable the csv xls all these report so if i click on this i can see the same report in the csv file now yes it will take some time to download but yes you will be able to see the same thing that is appearing on the view you can say, see in the file also so this one was the csv one and json one you will get uh, all the details in the json file yes it is giving me in the json format yeah so this is giving me now same the ods format so ods is uh, giving here yes same in the xls format i can see the, the same report here yes so please try this at your end and in the coming video we will also see the filters templates permissions advanced permissions calculation all these options how you can explore and I will create a video around everything uh, one by one. So that's it from this video. Please try this at your end and let me know in case you see any challenges. Thank you. Thank you for watching and have a great day ahead.